right, here he is, the charismatic UFC lightweight contender and former Bellator champion, Iron Michael Chandler. He said when he signed with the UFC, Daniel, he was not here for a long time, but a good time. And been a darn good time thus far seeing Michael Chandler compete in the big show. It's been a good time for us. I don't understand how he's having fun when he's uh -huh. involved in those types of fights. But this guy's an absolute beast. I mean, he is a forward pressure face first fighter and those are always the ones that we enjoy michael chandler has the ability to just take it out but he would prefer to punch you in the face let's see how many he goes let's see how many he can land tonight as he steps to the octagon and again. plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it let's see how it goes for michael chandler in another big spot tonight michael chandler once again ready to engage in a big spot here tonight feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one but of course the centerpiece is the former two division ufc champion the future hall of famer conor mcgregor returning to the proven ground here tonight he fought three times in 2016 just once in 2018 everybody's excited to see what version of conor mcgregor shows up here tonight there are more irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the united states of america <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one conor mcgregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom he is a fantastic fighter has really good takedown defense which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger you're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting conor mcgregor because the moment you attack that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike yeah that mcgregor counter left hand truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today a master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Connor McGregor, ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Iron Michael Chandler! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, and the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor McGregor! So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there fight. for this one. Ready. Right, so here we go with the ultimate fighter coaches, Connor McGregor and Michael Chandler. I don't to tell you this, champ, but Michael Chandler, part of the reason he signed with the UFC was with the hopes that this McGregor fight would materialize. Yeah, yeah Chandler's getting another big fight. You can win fights and you can be very fun. And even if you lose, you don't lose. Michael Chandler has proven that time and time again. He is an absolute powerhouse at lightweight. And he will look to impose himself on the notorious one, Conor McGregor. All right, so there's that power right from Michael Chandler. He talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice. I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire UFC.
Yep, got to be very careful there. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Chandler. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Hard scramble, hard scramble. Just over three minutes to go round one. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Gotta be careful here. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Hammer, hammer. Just over two minutes, round one. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. This is a terrible position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Michael Chandler. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this time. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kamora looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Chandler gets out. Back and forth we go. Oh, that's a big connection there from McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Aggressive, he graded him with a beautiful counter. Nicely done. Oh, nice counter. Yes. Just missed with the leg kick. So Gregor gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Another good stick to the head. Oh, nice. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh. Round two is next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. And his counter-striking is so good that it gives his opponent pause in terms of getting his own offense going because as soon as he strikes, he's getting a mouthful of teeth. Yes, he is a fantastic counter-striker. John, he has the ability to see what you're doing 
encounter it before you even understand what's going. It's in the eyes. It's in the eyes. Watch him. He is watching and processing what's about to happen, encountering the moment his opponent tries to attack. McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, DC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody. He has really focused on his craft. The work ethic has never waned, and McGregor appears to be in great shape here tonight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, a huge right hand from Michael Chandler yet again, and not unlike the one he landed on Dan Hooker a few years back. I mean, Michael Chandler is a beast. I think he's one of the best athletes we have in the UFC. He works extremely hard, and he's one of those guys that you just want to root for. He's got great power, but don't forget about that wrestling background that allows Chandler to get those hands to drop, thinking that you're going to take him down, and then up over the top, that overhand right lands. Oh, and he goes to the hook now. It's good. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is held on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. We march on three minutes to go. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestling, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the strike. And he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the strike. And he looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Chandler's now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here, you got to move. Back kick there. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally it's the hands. Tonight he's going to kick after kick after kick. Attempts the front kick there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight 10. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs and sliding toward the pool. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now. It's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there for McGregor. It is his best strike. And it's because he knows exactly where he needs to be the outcome to land that left hand over and over. Chandler's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end spell on it between rounds if we get there. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch it. Chandler's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. And the horn sounds on round two. Hashtag swollen. His face is starting to close, my man. It looks really bad. I mean, early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. 
All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defense. Third round underway. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, that's so good right. Oh, is that a good right hand? Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. Nice pass. Well, no surprise to see him rent. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Dars. Oh, Dars choke, locked and loaded. Good as that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call in the doctor or something. At some point, you got to take a look at him. He's so bruised. He's so battered. He's so swollen. And credit to... Oh! He blocked that punch. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt. Yeah, John, they're both beat up, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Well, the club men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. Yeah, these guys are going after it, man. Both of them. Both inflicting damage on each other. And both are dealing with it and trying to continue in this fight. This is a great fight. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Oh! The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Yeah. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Sneak. Wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, big front kick lands flush. Chandler's alive. Does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut. So that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Man, he's just got a great feel for striking around early in this one. The timing is off. Oh! Oh, my God. You cannot sit this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor Buck.
All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. And once again, he got it off, and he landed and got the KO finish.